Alright guys, welcome to part two of Gun Collection 2017. This is going to be all my long guns. I'm going to have to break this one up into a few different parts just because I can't get all the guns on the table all at once. So we're going to start with my bolt guns, lever guns, that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and jump right in. This is my Mosin Nagant. Um, I've owned many Mosin Nagants. This is the one that I bought, I believe, within a month of starting my YouTube channel. Um, done a lot of refinishing work to it, cleaning up inside and out, um, you know, curved bolt, that kind of thing. This is the one I'm never going to get rid of. I've owned several Mosin Nagants, but this one is going to stay with me for a very, very long time. I'm going to pass it on to my kids. Uh, this is my 1916 Spanish Mauser that I picked up not too long ago from JG Sales. 199. This is the 308 converted rifle. Good gun. At some point, I am going to do that comparison video I've been promising you between these two to find out which is the better deal for a good old mil serp gun uh, but I did take them to the range I have done all that but it was such a bad day at the range it was windy uh, there was a hundred people there and it, there was just no way for me to do any filming and get any good good uh, video uh, of comparing these two so I'm gonna do that at some later date this is my Savage Axis 2 XP that I have obviously upgraded to put a Boyd stock on it, better scope, better rings. Um, I like this because for just 50 bucks more than the standard Savage Axis, you actually get the wonderful, in my opinion, Savage Accu Trigger, which the trigger itself, if you were to go buy a trigger to try and put on your Savage Axis, those triggers cost about 100 bucks or so. So you're saving money by just buying the Savage Axis 2 XP. This one's in 30-06. I bought this one about two years ago, so it's been hunting with me a couple times. Um, I like it. It's a great gun. I've got videos out there on it. I'm a big fan of the Savage Axis. Good budget-friendly rifle. This, of course, is my Marlin 336. This is my 3030. This is my go-to hunting rifle. I love this thing. Um, there's not really much to say about it. It's a, it's a Marlin 336. It's a 3030. It's a good old-fashioned lever gun. You don't need to say anything more about it than that. That's all it is. Um, then we've got this. This is my uh, Savage 64. Just a good old-fashioned Savage 22. Um, you know, you can pick these things up probably 120, 150 bucks. I got this one on sale at a Black Friday sale for 99 bucks. So, I mean, you know, hard to beat that, right? Uh, it's just a good 22. What more can you say? Um, same thing with this. This is just a good 22. Um, no, this is my Zombie 22. But underneath all the crap that I threw on it um, to make it just kind of a fun gun, this is just a, uh, a Marlin 795. That's all it is. Just a plain old Marlin 795. It's kind of a little carbine length ish, uh, you know, 22. Uh, I love it. I think it's a great gun. I think it's a lot of fun. And these things you actually can pick up for about 99 bucks a lot of the time. They're really, really cheap. You can pick them up at Walmart, any of your big box stores, anything like that. You can get them online really cheap. Probably find them at your pawn shop for 75 bucks. Um, but they're a lot of fun. Really great gun and uh, really great for the kids too. So that is that. Let's go ahead and jump over to my shotguns. All right, here are my shotguns. I'm gonna run through this one real quick. We've got a Remington 870 Express. This is just my bird gun. Really, really simple, but it works. Haven't really done anything to it. Got a little bit of a side saddle here, and I got a high-vis front sight up on the front. Then we've got a Maverick 88. This one I've actually had for a long time. You've guys seen this one on the channel because I've had this one longer than I've had any of my other shotguns. Um, this is the one that I cut down the field barrel uh, down there. So it's not exactly 18 and a half inches. I believe it's about 19 inches just because I wanted to get it even with that rib right there. So I was willing to leave it a little bit longer just so it looked a little better, but I uh, got a side saddle on there, and uh, I put a, a Hogue short length of pull stock. I'm a big, big fan of these uh, Hogue short length of pull stocks. I even did a review on them, but you know, pretty basic setup. So it's just kind of a basic home defense or defensive shotgun setup. Uh, then we got my Mossberg 500 here. Picked it up at uh, Dick Sporting Goods. The only gun I will ever buy from them because I had such a horrible experience buying this gun, but it was a really good deal. 320 bucks for the Mossberg 500. It came with this Ghost Ring rear sight, which by itself cost 90 bucks. And it came with a high-vis front sight and the heat shield. Um, I added just a good old mil serp sling, some SOE gear, uh, side saddles there and there, and then, of course, that short length to pull Hogue stock. Um, Got it set up just as a, a good old self-defense, home defense shotgun. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, we've got my road trip shotgun. This one is also just a Maverick 88. Um, I took the field barrel off of it, put a, a 18 and a half inch barrel on there, top folding stock, side saddle or top saddle I should say, uh, SOE gear side saddle there, and then just a real basic sling. I think this is like a, a AK-47 sling or something like that. Just something really, really simple and I'll just throw this in the car if I know I'm going to be in the, in the car for a while. I can throw it in a bag or you know in the trunk or something like that and, uh, and be good to go. So that is pretty much it. There are my shotguns and uh, let's move on to my, uh, my semi-auto long gun. All right, guys. Well, just like before, ran out of table space. We're going to do these guns first, and we'll look at all the ARs. All right, first up, we've got a Kel-Tec Sub-2000 Gen 2 9mm 
takes Glock mags. This is a fun range gun. It's a fun toy. It's kind of a gimmick gun. I didn't buy it because I thought it was going to be reliable. All right? I never expect the kel to be reliable. Uh, but so far, it actually has been reliable. It has been a good gun so far. Maybe at some point when I trust it a little more, I'll turn it into a truck gun or something like that. But until then, you know, you throw a 33-round mag in there, and it's just a lot of fun at the range or whatever. Um, it's a cool gun, man. I, I like them. Uh, then we've got my IO AK-47. Had this one for a long time, since long before anybody knew who IO was or how much they sucked. And this is not the best made AK. I have been extremely lucky in that this is one of their older ones that maybe when they weren't shelling out so many per year, Year, they maybe took a little more time and paid a little more attention to the assembly so I feel like I just got lucky with this one but I've had it for a long time I've had it for years now it has worked for me so I don't recommend you go buy an IO but uh, this one's worked well for me and this is my AMD 63 this is my current favorite rifle uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this got it classic firearms uh, for 500 bucks right now they're selling for 450 449.99 for an AK-47 you can get the AMD 63 or the AMD 65 with the folding stock. Great deal, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Probably the best deal right now in AKs. But anyway, there you go. There's those. Let's go ahead and jump over to the ARs. All right, let's talk about ARs now. All right, uh, first up, we've got this setup right here. This is more of a DMR style setup as far as what I was going with. So I've got an 18-inch barrel, stainless steel, 1 and 8 twist, 223 wild chambering. Uh, I've got a Bushnell AR223 scope on there. It's just a fixed power scope, uh, 4X. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, standard Magpul furniture, nothing, nothing fancy about that. I did do a trigger job to it myself. Um, standard rail. I've got these uh, faux, these Chinese knockoff diamondback offset sights, which actually work really, really well. I'm going to do a whole review just on those because I'm amazed, uh, especially seeing as how I paid one-tenth the amount of actual diamondback uh, offset flip-up sights. But anyway, so this is just kind of like my little DMR setup. Very accurate. It's the most accurate AR that I have. I believe it's far more accurate than I am. I need to get some more time behind this thing. I've only been able to take it out to 300 yards, um, but I'll try to get a video out on that when I do get the chance to actually get out to the range with an actual camera. Um, then we've got this one. This is just a bone stock basic setup, right? There is nothing fancy about this whatsoever. Mid-length, 16-inch barrel, carry handle, fixed stock. Nothing about this screams special whatsoever, and that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was just plain simple. Um, I do have a whole grip on there just because I hate the A2 grip and I've got an extra magazine and a little uh, pouch right here. Other than that, very, very, very simple rifle. And here we are, the final two guns in my long gun collection, although one of them is not a long gun. Let's talk about that one first. This is an AR pistol, but it is an AR, so I thought I'd save it for this video. What we have here is a pretty, pretty simple build. I bought a complete PSA upper, complete PSA lower, PSA bolt carrier group and charging handle, and that's it. Slapped it all together. As you can tell, I am a Palmetto State Armory fan. I highly recommend them if you're looking for an AR-15 or to build your own, whatever, go check them out. All right, threw on an ergo grip, a sling. It's got an 11 and a half inch barrel. Threw on front and rear mag pull flip-up sights. Bushnell TRS-25, which by the way, I've been using it for two years now. It's been a fantastic red dot, and you can pick them up for like 70 bucks. They're really really cheap. Um, this is a very, very simple build. Nothing special about it whatsoever, but it is a great gun. This is a great little defensive tool. This would be a great uh, road trip gun, truck gun, home defense gun, whatever. I highly recommend AR pistols. They're, they have a lot of useful purposes, and, and they're a lot of fun, and they're just good to have around. If you're an AR fan, you should have at least one AR pistol. Now, this is my go-to AR right here. I've had this one for about six years. It's gone through a few different iterations, had different accessories here and there. I've tried a few different things with it, but this is the way it's been for about three years now. FN Cold Hammer Forge Barrel. Uh, I believe this is a Colt Factory Upper Spikes Tactical uh, Bolt Carrier Group. Um, I've got the uh, Ergo Grip on here, Magpul Furniture. The lower is a Teflon coated CMMG lower with a Nickel Boron Spikes Tactical Battle Trigger. Matek rear sight, uh, just a standard A2 front sight, and I'm running a Vortex Spark on that thing that I've been running for, I believe, about five years. And I've got a review on this. This is a fantastic optic. You can pick them up for about 180, and uh, they are great, great optics. Um, this is my go-to AR. If somebody breaks in my house, this is the AR I'm going to grab. This is the rifle I'm going to grab. Now, if I'm on the other side of the house, i got to grab my handgun first. That's fine. But if I'm anywhere near this thing, this is what I'm going to grab. This is my go-to at the moment. So... That's it, guys. There is my long gun collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, appreciate you guys watching. You got any questions or comments, anything like that, leave that stuff down below, and we will talk to you guys later.